So my first principle is essentially a be, do, have mindset. I have to be the thing that I want to become. I have to do the do's that require that are required, are prerequisites to be the thing that I want to be. And if I be the be and do the do's and don't the don'ts, I will have, I will have the thing I desired on this planet. Point blank, simple, simple. You like that? Now the formula to be, do, have is to be fruitful. That's the first step. Be fruitful, which means to be productive. And in order to be productive or in order to produce anything, you have to work. And in order to work, right, the, the proper, the best definition I've ever found on the word work is to become who you are, become who you are. So if I'm consistently being Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez, I, I can't help but think I'm going to get better at being Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez. If I keep being him, if I try to be Grant Cardone, if I try to be Tony Robbins, if I try to be Patrick Bet David, if I try to be Denzel Washington, if I try to be anybody other than Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez, I might have a really difficult time doing that. And what's funny is we're told this by our parents when we go to school, don't don't be like the other kids, honey, right? I remember my mom saying that, don't try to be like them. Don't try to be like the hoodlums. Don't try to be like the ghettos. Don't try to be like the wannabe rich kids. Be you, be you. Second principle high is understanding, just knowing that the highest form of wealth creation is imagination. And then knowing what the levels are to get there. You gotta implement, you gotta manage, teach, right? Communicate, speak, consult, coach, like some kind of form, create content, right? Imagine, I feel like imagination and content creation like go hand in hand. The third principle is setting targets. The formula that I have for setting my money target, setting my money target is I look at current annual gross income and I times that by 10, okay? Times it by 10, that's the target goal. And giving you the example, in 2022, my revenue was 372K, that was gross, that was actually, no, that was, that was net revenue. And then, I guess technically, gross. I always mess that up with net and gross like I know that's how much money I made on the on the tax thing that was a number that I saw 372 was a high number and then you minus taxes and all that stuff and then there's what's left over I guess that's net revenue after taxes right I think that's what that is so gross 372 times it by 10 the goal is 3.7 million 3 million seven hundred twenty thousand dollars that is the target goal that I am setting for 2024. Now, here's the thing. I, I may not get nowhere near 3.7 million, but that's okay. The, the idea of setting such an expansive goal is the theory that has been proven. So it's no longer a theory. This is confirmed. 10x is easier than 2x. This might be hard for people to comprehend. This might be way outside of their, their comfort level or comfort zone, where that may be, right? Those are just opinions. I'm operating off of principle, fact. I just got done saying that this first principle here, be fruitful and multiply, it doesn't say be fruitful and grow by 10% rate of return. It doesn't say that. It says multiply. That's two times two. It's not one plus one, right? It's two times two. It's four times four. It's eight times eight, right? It's, it's multiplication over and over and over and over again. So we set that expansive goal because now it's forcing you to think about the do's, the activities that can get me to $3.7 million in revenue in one year. If I'm constantly thinking about the activities that is required to get to $3.7 million, guess what? Me generating 372,000, whatever I've done to acquire that revenue, I have to do things differently to get to 3.7 million. I have to think bigger. I have to think beyond myself, beyond my own family, beyond my own self. I have to start thinking about community, neighborhood, city, state, nation, country. That's how I have to start thinking, okay? So that's the third principle about setting targets with your money goals. The fourth principle is practicing my main thing until I can't get it wrong. I think a lot of people will will do a work until they get it right, and then they'll just stop there. But I practice velocity banking until I can't get it wrong. When I do that, 
and I practice until I can't get it wrong, then I begin to delegate and automate as much as I can while practicing the main thing until I can't get it wrong. So that is a strong principle. Let me know in the comments if you get a lot of value from that principle right there because that has really helped me in the last one to two years is really just continuing to practice on the thing that I'm really good at until I, it's like I can't get it wrong. I can't, like you gotta get that good. I wanna be that good so I can't get it wrong. Principle number five is just being able to answer the four major questions in life. Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? If you can, the, the, the clearer you can answer those questions, the easier, the simpler it's going to be, and I know my grammar is terrible right now, to accomplish those beginning principles in your life as it relates to your money, income, generation process.